You can speak to anybody about it, about the RAC building on the M5, and they know exactly what you're talking about. Drivers recognise that building and that location just because of the modern design of it. I see it approximately three times a week to four times a week, depending on my route. But even now, I still look at the building and think, what an amazing building. The RAC wanted a place that combined all the functions of their, of their region in one building because they were scattered about various other uh, rented space in Bristol. But they also wanted a presence on the motorway network. So they secured this site at the junction of the M4 and the M5, very prominent. We said, well, if we put the building in the corner, more people will see it because it's by the motorway. And if we put it in the corner of the site, it kind of leads to the building being triangular. I've worked for the RAC for 28 years. Before we'd seen the plans or anything, from a senior manager, the building was described as, think about a dairy leaf slice with a cocktail stick and an olive on the top. And that's basically what the building looks like. It's a three-cornered cam. I think is the proper shape and description. The site is quite hostile. We're right next to two motorways. And our thought was to make it nice to be in, we'll actually put it in a bowl, we'll sink it into the ground. And then we'll take that land and we'll heap it up and raise the car park. You enter the site on the diagonal and it's a rather a formal process up to the front of the building then over a bridge and in. Everyone enters on the middle floor of three floors, so you've only got to go up one floor or go down one floor to your destination or stay on the same floor. So pretty much everyone walks around the building. There's no need to use a lift. We always used to use this metaphor of it's a kind of mixing valve. You've got people there, and you've got to stir them up. So. A route from anywhere to anywhere involves negotiating that staircase in some way. If you're on the top floor, you want to get to the bottom floor, use a staircase. But also, if you're going from one of the three sides to one of the opposite sides, you also do so. It's like one of those electron diagrams where, where all the, the, the lines are closest in the middle. You'll quite often see people stood on the staircase in the middle, um, having quick impromptu meetings. You're just moving around the building, you'll quite often get, oh, now I see you, can I ask you a question? You know, can I just grab you for five minutes? The office floor structure is an open plan space. The idea was to break down the silos. All these disparate departments who hadn't been talking to each other were now on a daily basis seeing each other. Instead of having that kind of separate office situation where someone has to come to you for support, everything is very open. There's nothing kind of that massively goes on behind closed doors. It's no us and them with regards to management or anything like that. I think it really does help build teams and it means you've got stronger relationships. It's not just a standard office block for the amount of time that we spend in our working lives in a building, um, it's definitely a good building to be in. And I like being able to look out. Despite the fact that we're actually on a motorway, which of course is very in keeping with the RAC, it is actually still a very green area. With a glass building, you've got to make sure that you cut down the sky glare. So the glazing leans out so that the roof overhangs the floors quite a long way. And then we have rows of sunshades going around the building to cut out the sky glare again. And then people have to have a nice place to get away from their desks occasionally. The low-level garden was shielded from the noise of the motorway by the building itself.
I do get an awful lot of questions about what we do in the tower. The amount of people that straight away say, what's in the tower? Is it a control centre? They wanted a boardroom. We had this idea of lifting that out of the main building and sticking it up on a mast. You've got to have a lift for disabled people or people with trolleys or so on. Why don't we just extend the lift and put the meeting room high on a spire? It really raised the profile of the building by raising its actual profile against the sky uh, for all the people passing by on the motorways to see. When we have meetings up here, it's really nice to step away from the centre. It gives you that opportunity to go into a high level and coming together as a team and sort out what your focuses are. It's nice having the view and having the light from up here. It's fantastic. One driver for us was the interest the RAC had on engineering matters, on precision, on, on things looking like they're meant to be. Of course, we like that too. We like buildings that show how they work and that do work, and I think RAC is a good example of that.